it's got a gas of hydrogen around it. And that gas is spinning so fast that we can see a Doppler shift. Where on one side, there's it's blue shifted because yes. it's coming at us. And on, a, on the other side, it's red, red shifted because it's going away. Right? So what we want to do is resolve this gas cloud. Okay? There's two steps. The first is to say, okay, all of the light, most of the light is coming from the star, right? Yeah. There's going to be some jitter because of the adaptive optics. Yes. When you have these control systems, you can eliminate low frequency noise. Yes. But you're going to inject high frequency noise. Yes. Right? What you can do is you can capture that response map of a single star that's basically telling you how the instrument and this modal system that we have is responding to that jitter at every single point that the star is at. Mm. And what you do is you look at something called the H alpha emission line. Okay? okay. The H alpha emission line is because of quantum mechanics. Hydrogen has discrete levels. Yes. Right. And whenever the hydrogen atom goes from the N equals three to N equals two energy, it releases this red light that's right at 650 nanometers about, so I think 656 nanometers okay so if we look only at that frequency of light we're gonna see the gas cloud uh, the the accretion the, yeah the, the, dick, the, the disc, disc yes, of the hydrogen, hydrogen around, the, around right? the star so what we can do is we can take an image yes in the h alpha line yes we can take an image with all the light yes subtract the two and then and we'll get a nice hydrogen gas, gas cloud that is surrounding the star and so it's like not just that okay we're now able to basically make the stars structure and the gas cloud structure discrete yeah using this methodology yes exactly and we can do it because this is sub diffraction right 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 this is where we're, we're going yes. way inside yes. what Raleigh even thought was possible yes okay right? yes. there you can see the gas cloud and you can see the clear Doppler. Yes, red blue shift. Red blue shift, right? Between yes. the part that's coming away from us and the part that's coming towards us. The blue is where it's coming from uh, towards us yeah. and the red is where it's going away. And, and you can even see the lopsidedness that you yeah. were talking about earlier in this yeah. too. Yeah. This is this is unbelievable. So it's it's I think it's it's a new dawn of like, you know, higher than Raleigh resolution 